Hi, this is Valentina. And today it's kind of a funny but also serious topic. I have the Cougar Academy videos. I started them last year as a joke with some of my girlfriends um, who I was kind of like an inside joke that I attract much younger men. <laughs> And they're asking me how that works <laughs> and if I'm enjoying it or not. And anyway, I started making this, this uh, Cougar Academy videos and I did two of them and then I thought, oh, maybe I shouldn't go there. But today I have another one because the topic uh, ar arose again. Um, and this one is the difference between being a cougar and being a sugar mama. <laughs> and so... Uh, okay, so here we go. I think the difference could be summarized as one word, independence. So the ladies out there who prefer younger men for whatever reason, let's say you're recently divorced and you're just sort of experimenting and exploring your sensual sexual side uh, looking for experiences you didn't have during your marriage or prior to that and um, maybe um, you're just looking for relationships that are not really uh, long-term material whatever there's no judgment I'm not judging anyone <laughs> you, you do you you do what works for you as long as you do it ethically and um, you don't hurt anyone. No one gets hurt. Have all the fun you want to have as long as no one gets hurt. That's the rule. So, um, independence. Why am I saying that? So, here we go. If you're attracting younger men and you want to take advantage of that situation and you ethically do so, so you make sure they understand that you're much older and you maintain your independence. In other words, you need really nothing such as um, you're financially secure, you have a good job maybe, you have your own home or even if you're renting, it's your sanctuary, your space. Um, maybe you don't even want to have children or you already had children and you're done with that. Um, whatever your situation is, you feel very independent in your life and you feel very content with your life. It's a place where being single is not a bad thing. Being single is where you really want to be. And now you meet somebody who's interested in you and you're interested in them and they happen to be younger and, and you discuss this ahead of time so they're not surprised and um, you're having uh, some kind of a relationship, short term, medium term, whatever, friends with benefits, whatever you decide to have. Um, but you're independent. That makes you a cougar. Um, a sugar mama will pay for services just like a sugar daddy does. And maybe it's surprised to some out there that sugar mamas exist, but they do just like sugar daddies exist. So that's a different lifestyle. That's essentially a contractual relationship with someone that um, most likely includes sex. Um, and there are uh, websites where you can solicit that kind of a relationship. Technically, you're not supposed to solicit for sex because that would be illegal, but um, under companionship, you can fold being naked as well. <laughs> and generally, that's the difference. So, like, you are paying for services, and you may say, okay, but I'm still independent. Yeah, but you are seeking them instead of them finding you and you feel like something is lacking in your life so you're willing to pay for it maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration if there are any sugar mamas watching this video right now i would like to hear from you and your experience um you know why why is a financial transaction a necessary thing and and when i say financial transaction it doesn't mean like you have to pay every time they come over it's, it could be a different thing, just like maybe you're supporting them through school or you're paying their rent or you're buying them a lot of things or taking them on trips. There's definitely a financial benefit to the person you are soliciting, right? 
So that's kind of like the main difference. A sugar mama uh, could be with a younger man, usually is with a younger man. Um, and, and, a, and a cougar kind of attracts it without having to pay for it. <laughs> and the, the allure of the cougar lady is often the, the independence itself. The fact that she's put together well, she's interesting, the younger person has something to learn from her, perhaps admires her in some ways. Um, is learning new things while with her so it, it's it's a more I want to say benevolent or clean or I don't know how to say it relationship it's not so transactional put it that way it's not really that transactional so that's the difference uh, and, and um, again no judgment whoever you are however you are however you can get what you want as long as you're doing ethically and um, you're upfront and you're honest about your intentions, your boundaries, and your um, just basically everything about yourself that you need to share um, with the other person to make this a workable situation for you. So I hope that helps <laughs> the aspiring cougars and the aspiring sugar mamas out there. And you can have a lot of fun, but be careful. There are real dangers in the world. Um, sexually transmitted disease, violence. There are people who prey on um, sort of vulnerable individuals. Um, and so no matter what the situation is, please keep a good head on your shoulders. Don't do anything to hurt anyone or to hurt yourself. And don't do anything to put yourself in harm's way. All right, hopefully that was fun. If you think so, give me the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and uh, enjoy my future videos. Valentina Petrova, valentinapetrovaconsulting.com, and I will see you again next time.